Hey all, this is Bob, aka Mr. Reef Safe, and I thought I would share something new that I'm doing. As you know that I've been growing phytoplankton for a while. Earlier this year I had uh, some health issues where I hurt my back and I had to take some uh, time off from growing the phytoplankton, but I'm going to restart it today. And one of the things I wanted to do was try to up the game once again. Of course, you know I use these photo boxes up here. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, and I will actually put that as a link in the description below. And if you want to get them, you can get them that way. But I use the 18 by 18s. This one's a 24 by 24, which I found to be just a little bit big. But because I have that, I used a 20 gallon tank. Now I'm using 10 gallon tanks in each of these, and I have a thick piece of plate glass to uh, lift the tank over the, uh, the bars, just, just so that it'll fit in there. I get my algae through Algae Research Supply, and I have the four different types here, Nanocryopsis, uh, Tetracelamin, Isocrisis, and Porphyridium, and those are the four that I'm using. Now, I like to have the Nanocryopsis as uh, double the amount. I have about 45 gallons here, even though it's 50 gallons worth of tanks. I use about 45 gallons of salt water on this, and I'm using the ESV salt water. I'm trying to make this as clean a phytoplankton as I possibly can. That's why I buy the stuff from Algae Research Supply, because it is a clean phytoplankton. And then what I do is I grow them separately and I mix them together before I package them to sell or trade or whatever the case might be. Um, but one of the things that, uh, that uh, Algae Research Supply had online and I really wanted to check out and I'm gonna show you. Now, I'm gonna have to do this from uh, a different perspective. So let me see if I can change my camera angle here. Okay, so what I did was I shut off the lights to really give the full effect. Now understand, this is a 20 gallon tank that I'm using and it is a 10 gallon under tank light. So it's not gonna be as strong as what it would be on the 10 gallon ones, but that's okay. I, I'm really just giving this a shot and seeing how it works. And if it does work well, maybe I'll get a second one for under here, but okay, I'm gonna plug it in now, one-handed, and that light is just from underneath the tank. So you can see just how much that's giving. So when the phytoplankton is growing in here and it starts to uh, really get thick, especially in this 20 gallon, it's not getting as much light from around, uh, from the ambient light and of course the light overhead. So this is really gonna help up the game and hopefully help it grow more. And of course I will be giving updates on that. So the phytoplankton I'm using, uh, if I haven't said so already, is from Algae Research Supply. The under, under tank lights are from Algae Research Supply. I use the Fritz. Uh, the algae food, you know, they're, they're two part solution, which is um, part A and part B, which you put in here. And that is the food that fuels the algae. And of course I will put that in the description as well. So uh, if you're looking to get any of the stuff or you're looking to try to grow this stuff yourself, I will have that all in the links below. And if you use those links, that will help me out a lot. Um, but look forward to some upcoming videos. I'm gonna talk about how this worked and if it worked well and you know how well the algae is growing. So I'm really hoping to help the average hobbyist up their game on phytoplankton growth. So if this is something you're interested, please follow along and let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you have some more ideas, I would love to continue to do experiments on phytoplankton. So I put the phytoplankton in each one. I've got them in there ready to go. Today is Saturday, June 24th. I'm going to give it uh, at least a week and see how it goes. And Hopefully everything goes well. I made sure that I sterilized the tanks, the hoses, the spouts. This is something I don't think I talked about yet, but I put a spout on each one just to make it easier to drain them when the time comes. Now this is the uh, porphyridium, which I've always had these kind of flakes growing at the bottom of each one that I've gotten, but uh, that doesn't seem to affect the overall harvest. So we'll see. Yeah, of course, I will give you updates as we go along.